welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.50 of chapter 4 and the statement of this question is for a laboratory assignment if the equipment is working the density function of the observed outcome x is basically given by this density function which is f of x equal to 2 1 minus x for the values of x greater than 0 and less than 1 and 0 elsewhere okay find the variance and standard deviation of x okay so as we have seen in our previous question we can write the solution here that in previous question we have seen that the variance of any variable x can be found out by finding the expected value of the x square and subtracting from it the square of the expected value okay so this is the main formula or main equation which we have been using since our previous question okay and this is also very important because this is the easiest way to find out the variance and once when we will find out the variance the square root of this variance would be the standard deviation okay so let us first find out the value of e of x okay so as we can see that this is a continuous random variable so therefore in order to find the value of the expected value here the random variable here is x the density function of it is f of x so we have to integrate it within the limits with which this is given so it is from 0 to 1 okay so let me find the values here okay so it is from 0 to 1 the value here is x and the value of f of x is 2 1 minus x and this is d of x okay so this 2 is constant this is 0 to 1 this would become what x 1 minus x d of x okay also here it would be 2 and it would also be 0 to 1 okay and here it would become x minus x square d of x okay let me continue it here this would be here so here it would become e of x is 2 let me close it here so it would become taking the integral of all the values here we would get 0 to 1 x of dx and also here minus 0 to 1 x square d of x okay also to the integral of x would be x square divided by 2 and it is from 0 to 1 minus the integral of x square is x cube divided by 3 0 to 1 okay so we would get here to putting these limits here which is very easy we can find out here 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 okay so here e of x would be 2 taking the lcm of it we would get 6 okay 1 by 2 multiplied by 6 is 3 minus 3 uh, 6 multiplied by 1 by 3 is 2 it would be 2 multiplied by 1 by 6 which would be what which would be 1 by 3 and that is what that is for the expected value of x okay so we have found out that the expected value of x is here similarly now let us find out the value of e of x square let me move down somehow and the value of e of x square would be what the same formulation just we have to do what here we have to write x square okay so writing x square here and all the formulation would be the similar ones so here uh, writing x square and then integrating them all just like here so let me use this one here okay so let me use 
this one here instead of this x we have to write x square so what would we get here this 2 will be here it would be x square and 1 minus x d of x okay so i hope you have understood that why i have written here x square instead of x because here it was first x of x f of x now in order to find out the value of e x square we have here from 0 to 1 x square f of x dx okay so therefore simplifying it we will ultimately get this one okay so now it would be 2 0 to 1 x square minus x cube d of x okay or taking the integral of both of them okay because this is the linear operation so we would get what it would be x cube divided by 3 from 0 to 1 minus x4 divided by 4 from 0 to 1 okay similarly here we would get putting these limits here it would become 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 okay so 2 taking the lcm it would be 12 so 12 multiplied by 1 by 3 so we would get here 4 minus 3 here okay so 2 multiplied by 1 by 12 which will ultimately be what let me move down somehow here as well so it would be 1 by 6 and this is what e of x squared okay so that is for the e of x squared now we have the values of e of x squared and e of x let me put them all here okay in this equation let me use this green color for it so the variance of x would be e of x is e of x square is what this is 1 by 6 okay let me confirm it yeah this is 1 by 6 so this is 1 by 6 minus e of x is 1 by 3 so the square of it here so here 1 by 6 minus 1 by 9 okay so ultimately the answer of it would be what so the answer of it would be 1 over 18 which we can check ourselves as well okay so i have calculated it and given you the answer of it okay so this is the variance in order to find out the standard deviation this is the standard deviation so standard deviation is the square root of the variance so therefore it would be the square root of 1 by 18 because 1 by 18 is the value of the variance so finding it out what would we get it would be 0 0.23 0 0.236 okay and that is what that is for the standard deviation so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the standard deviation and variance calculation for the continuous random variable. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.